what would be your most important goal for you personally to achieve in Ramadan? So I study Quran throughout the year, um, but I turn it up a few notches in the month of Ramadan. My memorization goes up. Um, um, I, I do. I haven't finished memorizing the Quran. I'm working on it part time, slowly but surely. But it goes on an accelerator in the month of Ramadan. Um, I try to catch i'tikaf every year, um, and in i'tikaf, I do do a lot of review of Quran. For me personally, um, actually, the, the act of memorizing Quran is not just the act of rote memorization, but actually, when you recite the ayat over and over again, it gives you a chance to reflect mm -hmm. on the word of Allah too, and to think about the same thing over and over again, mm -hmm. and it brings about opportunities for insights, which I really, really enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing that's certainly a you know a, a thing to look forward to in Ramadan. The other thing I really enjoy doing in Ramadan is the, um, you know, the nightly taraweeh prayers. But I will be honest with you, I don't, you know, a lot of times I won't join the entire taraweeh prayer or I'll go to a masjid which actually takes it easier. Because mm -hmm. some masajids, unfortunately, their big goal is to finish the recitation of the entire Quran and they rush through the recitation. Mm -hmm. And there are other masajids, alhamdulillah, in our area, there are some that actually take it easy. They, they won't recite a lot, mm -hmm. but what they recite, they really enjoy reciting. And... This month should not be about quantity, it should be about quality. There is no religious guideline that you have to finish the entire Qur'an. There's no such thing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't imposed, you know. We, so we impose this on ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And and you find people that, you know, they pray the eight rak'ah and there's a mad rush outside of the masjid. You know, it's just, it's, I got it over with, let me get out of here. But actually prayer is supposed to be this reflective, mm -hmm. you know, spiritual experience where you're enjoying the word of Allah in every rak'ah. Mm -hmm. And that's really something I hope to restore every year for myself in Ramadan and mm -hmm. I hope other people do too inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah you just mentioned now about just balancing your sort of energy levels like for example trying not to do too much in the first day for example trying to leave some energy for the last 10 days mm -hmm. do you sort of structure the whole Ramadan that way you try to sort of sort of spread out your energy so that you can maintain momentum throughout the month? You know, I've uh, one of my teachers, Dr. Akram Nadwi, has some pretty interesting insights on Ramadan and how you should spend your time in Ramadan and I've, I've tend to agree with him um, Ramadan is actually not supposed to be a time where you're not productive in everything else. Like you're supposed to be as fruitful, as productive in, at your work and with business and education and everything else. It's not a time for vacation. Mm. You know, for in, in some Muslim countries, for example, people stay up until like Fajr almost and they pass out until like 4 p.m. Just in time for iftar and start all over again. They become like creatures of the night or something because that's what Ramadan is supposed to be. That's silly. Mm. That's not the point of this month. 